Hey family, please turn your mobile devices to landscape mode for the best viewing experience. Thank you. Hey family, welcome back to the channel. Um, I have a, a request here that I'm going to try to chase down, um, like follow the breadcrumbs, go down the rabbit hole. But the request is, I love your videos. I'm new to the channel. Can you do a video on the Catawba tribe of the Carolinas? So I took a little bit of time and I was, you know, I went on the official Bureau, Bureau of Indian Affairs .gov website and I was able to find something really good and stuff like that. And I'm mainly going to keep focusing on genealogy like that's going to be like the key thing about this uh this platform is like genealogy and also proving that America is the motherland the Mar America is um the cradle of civilization America is older than Africa you know everything you know so I'm going to be doing all that but if you're new to the channel please like share and subscribe share with your family and friends if you're not new to the channel thank you guys so much for your unwavering support and welcome back and also please continue to like and share so we can get the the truth out to as many people as possible so we're gonna just start to follow some um breadcrumbs real quick uh, let me pull up a map so i can show you guys what i mean all right all right all right so here's the baseline map so when you do your gene genealogy right and you see like, okay, maybe this is what I'm thinking. Like if you were to find your great grandparents, um, like reclassified to black or negro or colored or mulatto or something like that from Indian, which could be like IN or Choctaw, Cherokee. In this case, we're going to go with uh, Catawba, right? So this is around the Carolina areas, all right? So as you can see, all Shawnee Creek, Chickasaw. So we're gonna use, I would use this map as a baseline. So when you do your genealogy and you find out where, where your, your ancestors were reclassified to Negro or black or mulatto or colored, you know, you can be like, hey man, um, my, I, for the most part, being if you just have something that just said Indian, you can be like, hey, you know, when I was in Florida or my uh, ancestors was classified in Florida to black or whatever the case may be, you can be like, man, they, I'm, I'm, a, I'm from the Seminole tribe. Yeah, and you can use that, in my opinion, as a baseline to go like to get your lawyer and stuff like that, so you can go um get your your benefits and stuff because they that's why they love for us to keep calling ourselves black and african-american or even black american you know it it does it has no affiliation to any kind of reparations you know it's like one of those things where if you know what it the definition of insanity is you know if you keep doing the same thing trying to get this different results it's not going to work so my thing is the whole genealogy is basically to like okay well i can't get reparations under the banner of black else they would already given it given it to us you know so the next best thing is to claim as your tribe name or as indians or indigenous or aboriginal but not black nothing with the word black in it because black is just a category white is just a category and black is not something that you should be categorizing yourself as or african-american i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you well now watch this right here i'm uh go down to bread uh Go down the rabbit hole under Kataba real quick. Watch this. All right, all right. So you come to this the website, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, right? Dot gov official website, and then you 
for instance, you come here, you type in South Carolina, right? Oh, boom, search, right? And then you go like this. You see, uh, boom, boom, boom. You see, oh, wait, I'm looking for this right here. The Catawba Indian Nation, a.k.a. Catawba Tribe. Then you follow the breadcrumbs, right? And you're like, all right, cool. What we got here? And uh, as you see, I already clicked on it because it was already blue. So, boom. And then you come to an attachment. And I'm like, well, what's this attachment, right? So you click on the attachment, I already downloaded it, download again, but let me pull it up real quick so you can see it quicker. All right, so this opened up when I clicked on the PDF and then you come down here and it says uh, the Catawba Indian Nation is a federally recognized Indian tribe possessed of all sovereign powers and rights thereto pertaining. And they're talking about like schools and create jobs right here. Um, where the, whereas the state of North Carolina seeks to gener generate funds to strengthen its schools, to create jobs and promote economic developments. And you just keep reading, it's a lot of stuff. But this is the whole, thing about the genealogy and stuff like that and to get away from us calling ourselves black like i said i'm not like i'm not a lawyer <laughs> or nothing like that so you would have to maybe get that kind of professional help but i, I was just following the breadcrumbs just for this particular tribe and um i went down i'm like okay cool so how do i if i were to like how do you contact them so let me sh let me show you real quick hold on and press pause and stuff there you go same i mean same uh main website but it has a here's the website the full link for the tribal leaders directory right so you would come here Type it in, Kataba, right here. Let me lower this, get this out of my way. Search, and this would pop up, right? And then you would just call them, email them, or check out the website, so on and so forth, and go from <laughs> go from there. Um, like I said, I don't really know um, what you, what else could be done and stuff, but I would like try to. This would be the whole route of re reparations, in my opinion. You know, just claiming yourself as a sovereign, not sovereign, but as a nation or as a tribe. You know, not as a color. <laughs> Or not as another continent <laughs> that you don't live in. Because once you do genealogy, you'll see that you never came from Africa. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> I hope this helps for the rest of um, you folks as well. And I can just pull up. Let me see if I can pull up Seminole. Because that's a, like a famous one. So let me see Seminole. And let's see. Let me lower this real quick. Type in, I mean, see what pulls up. Actually, that's not. So let me go to Florida. Because sometimes it does that, I swear. So when I go to Florida, it pops up as Seminole Agency. See, that's not right. I'm telling you. Because it popped up earlier. Let's see. See, that's, that's weird, but it did work earlier. Uh, I'll mess with it real quick and I'll come back. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why it does that. I have no idea. Um, I just typed in the same thing and now it pops up, but let me see if I get a better view for you guys to see. So 
if your ancestors, after you do your genealogy, you saw that they were in in Florida during when they was reclassified or they were forced to move to Oklahoma or something like that. I mean, that's that's right here. You know, you call them up, email them, all your good stuff. Once you get like professional help, like from a lawyer or something, and then that's how that's what I'm thinking. You should be doing your reparations claims, not as black, because I mean, I guess I can pull it up again, where it says like the United Nations only offer protections to original peoples or in which is which is the indigenous people a black is or an african-american is not indigenous to um to anywhere really um yeah so let me let me let me pull that up real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about, how identifying as a black or an African-American, you are not indigenous. You are not an original people. And this is for uh, the USA. That's why when you leave the country and you have a passport, you have a nation. You are, an, you are an American. Um, for instance, you cannot go to a airport and leave, go even go state to state and be like, hey, I want to go to black. Because if you're saying to yourself, I am a black person. Okay, so when you go to the airport, they're going to need that three digit airport code um of black and that doesn't exist same with african-american if you're saying i'm an african-american when you go to the airport and you want to go to african-american there's no three-digit code you know to go to african-american or black american so you can go to india or just america you know which america is was india at one point in time because Columbus was not lost. That's why I talk about the how America is actually the cradle of civilization. Um, and I have we have receipts for that. So I don't know how long this video is going to go. But I'll show you where the United Nations says that you have a right to pick a nationality and black is not a nationality. African American is not a nationality either. And cuz it's uh it's also not part of indigenous to anywhere on planet earth. And I'll show you that. So, so please stand by and then you pull it up. All right, so before I show you guys what the United Nations says about original peoples or indigenous people, I'm going to show you this. Um, this is what you have to ethnicity and race identification. Every living soul in the USA is part of this program. Um, this, let me show you the form. Standard form 181. What did it change the form? But this this concept still exists. Let's read the Privacy Act statement. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ethnicity and race information is requested under the authority of 42 U.S.C. Section 2000E-16 and in compliance with the Office of Management and Budgets 1997 rev revisions to the standards for the classification of federal data on race and ethnicity providing this information is voluntary okay voluntary so you can you don't have to be pigeonholed into black it's, it's you pick what you are and i'll show you and it has no impact on your employment status but there's always a but right but in the instance of missing information you 
for instance, you if you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't see black American on there or whatever the case may be, or, you know, indigenous American or Aboriginal, uh, Tocton or Niji American or Amerind Amerindian, and you're like, well, I'm not going to put anything because I don't see it. Well, they're going to pick it for you. So, and all they have to do is look at you. They don't have to ask you and stuff like that. So it says, but in the instance of misinformation, your employing agency will attempt to identify your race and ethnicity by visual observation. So they're given your overseer, like in prison of war days, the authority to tell you who you are if you don't pick something. So... Just like the police, the judge, um, same, the government, if you don't pick who you are, they will pick it for you and give your identity to someone else. So, and even your social security number is requested, blah, blah, blah. But if no social security number is not provided, however, other agency sources may be used to obtain it. So if you don't give your social they can still get it. So let's go down here and let's read, <clears throat> excuse me, what best describes you. And then we're going to see what the United Nations, which USA is part of the United Nations, says about indigenous people. Okay. So obviously there's no black American on here. There's no um, Atahtan on here. There's no Niji, American Indian. There's no indigenous uh there's no aboriginal you know so you have to pick one of these five categories so which one of these five categories best explain you and spoiler spoiler alert i already underlined it and highlighted in yellow a person having origins in any of the original peoples notice how i highlight original peoples in all of the five categories all of the four all of the categories except for one. So a person having origins in any of the original peoples of North and South America, including Central America, which encompasses the Caribbean and who maintains tribal affiliation or community attachment. So in the beginning of the video, you saw me um, follow, use the, follow the breadcrumbs into the Catawba Indians. If you do genealogy and you find, figure out where uh, people like Walter Plecker reclassified you or your your ancestor, you can be like, look, uh, like my ancestors was here. So I'm definitely an Indian to this uh, tribe right here. I'm a descendant of an Indian to this tribe. So, uh, you know, use that as a basis for your benefit slash reparations claim. And then you come down here to Asian. He says, I'm just going to stop at original peoples because I don't need to read any more. A person having origins in any of the original peoples. And I'm going to skip black just to tie it home. Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander, a person having origins in any of the original peoples. And then white, a person having origins in any of the original people. Then you jump up to black. And black or African American. A person having origins in any of the black racial groups of Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa. That's it. So according to this form, which everybody has to fill out, and if you don't fill out your employing agency, someone over you, you know, with the government, police, if they would need to describe who you are and you don't tell them, if you say, well, I'm, I'm a human being, I don't identify as anything I don't in a category or whatever they can they can use their their shit their crappy judgment and <clears throat> pick pick for you so you got to tell them that's why you see a, a lot of Latin Americans um uh or Hispanic or um they out they come to the USA and they make sure that they pick they pick white okay they pick white for the most part because they're not, they're not going to pick Asian. They're not going to pick black. They're not going to pick native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander. 
So they pick white. Guarantee you. you can ask one of them. I don't, I don't think it's a secret. You know? So, yeah. And now let me show you what the United Nations says about actual indigenous people. Which original peoples, just like aboriginal, is indigenous. Same, same thing. Flip-flop. Same thing. All right, so let's go see what the United Nations says about indigenous people. All right, so here's the, I guess, the cover sheet. The United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People. And you come here to Article 5. Indigenous peoples have the right to maintain and strengthen their distinct political, legal, economic, social, and cultural institutions while retaining their right to participate fully if they so choose so you have a choice you choose to be black then you don't have anything in the political economic social and cultural life of the state which is why as a black person if you go to court and you answer to black court as you know in the court of law that's why you, you, you you get more penalized because under the banner of black can do whatever they want. <clears throat> Article six, every indigenous individual has a right to a nationality. Black is not a right. I mean, sorry, black is not a nationality. No. Okay. Um, <sighs> African-American is not a nationality either because you're not part of the original peoples. You know, you're just a black racial group, you just caste system. Article 7, indigenous individuals have the rights to life, physical and mental integrity, liberty and security of person. A black person don't have the right to that because it's not part of the original peoples. They're not indigenous. Indigenous people have the collective right to live in freedom, peace, and security as distinct peoples and shall not be subjected to any act of genocide or any other act of violence, including forcibly removing children of the group to another group. Don't that sound weird to y'all? Like, reclassification type weird? Like, yo, so... We need you need to look into that as well, but I'm gonna end the the video here because I don't I don't want to make it too long because I want to save like the next time I do the video I want to talk about how is uh, with receipts of course how America is um, more uh, older than Africa so life could not have started in Africa. And um, I have receipts, but I want to put that for the next video because this, this video kind of went on too long. But if you stuck to the end of the video, thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you have, please like and share this video to your family and friends. Get the word out. Um, do your genealogy. Can't foot stomp that enough. Um, find your tribe. Use that map I had in the beginning as like your baseline and stuff, you know, talk to a lawyer or, or whomever. And you want to file your reparations as uh, or benefits as American Indians, <coughs> excuse me, and not descendants of slaves. You want to do it as a prisoner of war, Indian prison prisoners of war. A slave is just property. A slave don't have no rights you know same same thing as a as a black with no no rights all right so you file your reparations as a prisoner of war not as a descendant of slave descendant of a prisoner of war all right as indians not as not as black americans not even as black indians because you are technically the only Indians, okay? So you don't need to put a black in front of it because if you were to, 
try to identify a lion in the jungle, you would not call a lion the orange lion. It's like the only lion in the world. You're the only Indians in the world. Everybody else should be hyphenating, but not you. You're the original. So, um, please like, share, and subscribe again. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, turn on post notifications so you'll be informed of my next video. And peace out.